Tonight, Belgium has raised its terror alert after a deadly attack in Brussels. Two people were shot to death, and in a video posted on social media, an Arabic-speaking man claimed he shot them and was inspired by ISIS. The victims were from Sweden. That country's soccer team was supposed to play the Belgian national team. The game was suspended, and fans were initially told not to leave the stadium with the gunmen still at large. It's a volatile situation across a tense city. It all started in the building behind me earlier this evening when this gunman, dressed in a high-vis orange top, walked in with a, with a rifle uh, and opened fire and, and shot two people dead. Uh, we understand he may have also injured uh, at least one other person and there are unverified reports of further incidents in this city, in the Molenbeek area, just over from where we are at the moment. And, and I'm verified because there is so much information coming out uh, that it's hard to keep up. And also because this man is on the loose. That is why I mean, you can hear so many sirens. This city is nervous. It hasn't recaptured the man. They know he is a, a killer and there is a video, again, unverified. Uh, allegedly released by him in which he claims allegiance to Islamic State and, and it's you mentioned there the football match now that is across the city involving Belgium and Sweden but the two victims of this attack were both Swedish now we can't say for sure whether they were here uh, for the game or whether that is just an extraordinary coincidence um, but the game between Belgium and Sweden has been abandoned at halftime I understand that it was the players who said, we do not want to carry on.